when you travel around in your RV. In today's video, we're going to cover three key resources to help make sure that you aren't wasting your hard-earned money on campsites that just don't live up to the hype. So planning your travels doesn't have to be hard, but without the right RV-specific resources, and I'm going to say that again, the RV-specific resources, you're going to be pulling out your hair. My hair is in the uh, moving to Jesus stage, as Amy likes to call it right now, but you're going to be pulling your hair straight out of your head. So living on a budget is really important and knowing how you're going to spend your money or actually a better thing to say would be knowing how to stop spending your money is going to be a key to making life in an RV successful. So if you want to find our three ninja resources for finding inexpensive places to stay, then drop the word planner below and let me know. And I'll make sure that you get the notes from today's video and I'll send you, uh, I'll include the links to all three resources that we're going to talk about today so that you can check that out when we uh, publish that blog later this week. So, hey, thanks for being such a great supporter for us. Um, I'm here every Tuesday so that you can check out new videos and get new information about life in an RV, transitioning to an RV, what that looks like. Um, so I, I remember for years thinking that being an Amazon Prime member was like the greatest way, the greatest way that we could spend money to save money. Remember that? And um, I know that there are more resources out there that I don't know anything about. And so I love getting brand new resources. So, hey, tell me some of your favorite stuff. What are some of your favorite like ninja hacks, ways that you can save money? I'm always looking for stuff. Amy is like a queen of resources and finding things. Uh, but we're always on the lookout for more brand new ways to save money. So I can't wait. You guys tell me. Tell me below what, it, what it, some of your favorites are. So if you know somebody that wants to hit the road while you're here um, in an RV, then uh, – or if you can think of somebody that already has an RV maybe but they're not really uh, utilizing it or maybe they just want some tips on how to save money as they travel, then do me a favor and – and share this video with them real quick. Um, if you share the video and you let me know that you shared it, then I will send you a coupon for 10% off of our favorite water resource. Um, if you have spent as much time as we have in different RV parks around the country, uh, different places that we've traveled, you know that water can be a pretty tricky thing. And so we wanna make sure that you get the best quality water. If you've ever followed RV families on Instagram or any other places, then then for sure you've seen this resource um, because it's just such a great, it's a great tool for RV families. So, um, or it also, it would help me out if you would just click the, the button below the like button. Give me a thumbs up. I know it's less commitment, but it still really helps me get the word out because it makes people think this is a good video and that people like what, what's going on here. So, so please drop that below. So to get the notes again when we publish it later, then just drop the word planner below and I'll make sure that you get that. So three resources, three resources. Before we do that, if we haven't met yet, my name is Jim Miller. I, ha I help families have a clear path to smoothly transition their lives into the RV that's perfect for their family so that they can live a dream they never thought, whether it's for 14 days or for 14 months. So I do this through my signature MAPS method. Um, I walk people through all of the steps that they need in order to take their next adventure on the road. So I'm used to speaking in front of people also, so um, I'm not used to speaking on a camera like this, and I love feedback. So if you just drop me some comments or your thoughts, and as you hear something that you like, just drop me a hashtag yes below, and it would make a world of difference for me. I appreciate it. So we all like to travel, but we don't like to spend money. I, 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 maybe we enjoy spending money, but we enjoy saving money even more. And today, we're going to talk about how to save money and still have amazing experiences in your RV. Um, because I know that you can have good and bad experiences. We've had some, oh my gosh, if I could tell you some stories right now, I could take some time and tell you some stories, but I'm not going to. There are some parks, some places that we have stayed that we didn't feel safe. <laughs> there are some places that we stayed that sleep was really difficult. There are some places that we've stayed that have been just really tough. And so we are... Um, we are all about finding good resources to find good places to stay on the cheap. It's a big deal. And so today, three of those resources for you. Are you ready? You ready to go with me here? 
All right. The first one that we're going to talk about is a little thing that we like to call, actually, they call Boondockers Welcome. Boondockers Welcome. So let me see. I'm trying to play with some of this stuff here. Oh, look at all this fancy stuff going on. Fancy. I'm really high, high class. You can tell. Can't you? <laughs> so, so, ah, this is the wrong one. You know what? Let's skip to it. So this is one that we call, um, or they call Harvest Host. And Harvest Host is a fantastic resource. It is RV camping at over, you can just see it right here on the screen. It says RV camping at 1,240 plus wineries, breweries, farms, and more all over the country. They invite self-contained RVers to stay overnight for free at their at these different places. One of our first traveling experiences was actually a harvest host. We were driving through West Texas and there's not a lot of great places to stay in West Texas. But as we were traveling through West Texas, Amy Resource Queen found a place that was a free spot for us to park that would provide safety and shelter and a spot for us to park. And we pulled up to it and it was this place called Hangar 25. And it was it's an air museum that has airplanes all the way from the fuselage of a B-2 bomber to you name it. They had tons of different airplanes all through there. And in Harvest Host, one of the great things is that you pay a small fee, a yearly annual fee. And then when you sign up for them, they give you access to their database of places to stay. And all you have to do is go find where you're going to stay. And then you, you click on the location of the place that is the host. And then you get in touch with them and just let them know that you're coming. And most of these harvest hosts uh, have plenty of access for people. And it's easy for you to get in there. But there are some, some of them that are a little bit more uh, limited on the space. And so just make sure that you call ahead and make your plans. And they'll tell you in the in the description of the place how far in advance you can plan and, and also the amount of time that they need in order to be set up for you. Uh, because these are businesses. Most of these places are businesses. And so you show up and all they ask you to do, they don't ask you to pay a fee. They just ask you to go and experience the place. And so the next morning we woke up and we went to this museum. We literally walked around the building and went into a museum and spent several hours inside this incredible museum looking at all these airplanes. Um, we've also stayed at wineries and you go stay at a winery and you just go do a wine tasting with them. We have found some amazing wineries all over the country. Uh, and some of our favorite wine that we've ever had has been at some of these, some of these harvest hosts that we've stayed at. They've, um, They've done. They got breweries. There's a, a Colorado brewery that we stayed at that was the only brewery in the country that grows the crop and then turns it into beer. So they do everything from growing it to turning it into a beer all on site right there. It was amazing. Sat down with the owners of this place and just had a great conversation with them. Um, we actually stayed at a winery in Arizona that is owned by the man that was the director of Free Willy 2. Who knew? So we had a great conversation, sat down, and I interviewed him and had a great conversation about movies and wine and what got him into wine. And we learned so many fascinating things. These people are uh, just really really interesting to get to know and we had a great conversation have had an amazing time wonderful experiences at harvest host we can't recommend them enough and so please use harvest host there's a like i said there's a fee that you pay at the beginning of the year uh, at the beginning of your year of membership and then you get access to their database of all these places that you can go and stay fantastic resource please look them up and try them um all right so the first one, Harvest Host. Second one that we're going to look at is a place that I mentioned. I kind of gave you gave it away there just a second ago, but it's a place called Boondockers Welcome. Let's see if I can find this one right. There it is, Boondockers Welcome. All right, so this one, um, 
So Blue Knockers Welcome, the way they describe themselves is free overnight parking on private park, private property, make new friends and sleep soundly. Does that sound like a win? Yeah. <laughs> now, Boondockers Welcome is a little different, whereas Harvest Host is businesses that are welcoming you to come and stay with them. Boondockers Welcome is actually people with a house that have space for you to come and park on their property. And so now you are coming and parking next to a home of somebody that travels and you get to come and get to meet this family, get to spend time with them, get to get to know them. Uh, it is an amazing way. We have actually met some some of our favorite people through Boondockers Welcome. We uh, That's actually how we learned to say the name Nevada was Boondockers Welcome. We were driving, we were driving from Utah to California and we stopped in Nevada, um, parked there and met this lady and her family and just fell in love with them. And they're such good friends of ours now. And we have, we have continued this relationship for years. And now we would never consider driving through Nevada without stopping at their home spending some time getting to see them and hang out with them. And we talk even off the line, even when we're not traveling around, we still, we still talk to them. So Boonockers Welcome is a great way to make new friends and to, and yes, you sleep soundly because you're in somebody's house. Now, with both Harvest Host and Boondockers Welcome, they're, uh, again, they're both a fee-based structure. So you pay a fee up front, and then you get access to their database. And then they're gonna give you notes in the description of the place some of these places, it's just dry camping. So the name Boondocker, Boondocking, for those of you that don't know, which I would assume there's a, there's a lot of folks that don't know, um, Boondocking is, uh, <laughs> I'm reading some of the notes here. <laughs> reading some of the notes is pretty fun. Um, boondocking is when you actually get to, sorry, my squirrel has taken over here, but Yes. So this is Amy is mentioning the Harvest Host that we played that we stayed at, which was uh, Hangar 25 in West Texas, and we got to we got to sit in the cockpit of a B2 bomber. We actually climbed up through the fuselage, up into the 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 cockpit of it, and sat there. And the boys pretended they flew it. We saw where the radio people. I mean, just it was amazing. It was really an incredible experience. So. Um, so with Boondockers Welcome and with Harvest Host, both of those are a fee-based structure and you pay to get access to their database and then you just reach out to different people that have property and you let them know that you want to come and stay and they let you stay. Some of them it's just for one night. Some of them will let you stay for up to five nights. It just depends on the person and uh, and their hospitality. Um, and so so it's important for you to, to reach out. And these are both of these. I'll say this with both of them that that these are great people that have opened up their home or their business to you to stay at. And it is a great opportunity to make some great friends, some, some new friends. Um, but it also encourages, it encourages then you to be a good patron, right? To be a good patron. So for those folks that, uh, that are a business, go and spend some money in their business. And for the folks that are at the Boondockers Welcome, um, if they offer you electricity, offer offer them ten bucks or offer them some money to pay for it. And these are these are the kinds of things that they ask you. Just reading in the in the terms of the agreement. I'm sorry, I'm kind of a little today, but but they they're both uh, in the descriptions. It's important to read the descriptions of each one of the places that you stay at, so that you can do a good job of knowing knowing what all. Um, knowing the expectations so that the expectations are set there. All right. So we've talked about Boondockers Welcome. We've talked about uh, Harvest Host. And now now we're going to talk about the best RV trip planner. This is something called RV Trip Wizard. Now with RV Trip Wizard, RV Trip Wizard is different from Boondockers Welcome and from uh, Harvest Host in that this is more of a full service planner. Think of it as like a Google Maps for your RV. Now, here are the kinds of things that they offer in RV in RV Trip Wizard. So, RV Trip Wizard has a database of all the places that you can stay. 
So when you go to a city, they're going to list out all the different RV places that you could stay, whether it's a campground or a Walmart or a Cracker Barrel, uh, whether it's a state park or a national park. They're going to have all of those listed and categorized for you. And then they're going to tell you what to expect for that particular place. They're going to give you an idea about cost, about amenities. Um, they're going to tell you the phone. I mean, it is your resource to go to for when you um, when you are trying to plan your trip. Now, where it takes it to the next level is that it is a paid site. Where it takes it to the next level, though, is the fact that it offers you a phone option. So you can put it on your phone, and now when you're traveling, you can actually plan your route through the planner. So instead of just giving you access to the different places that you can stay, now you have access to a GPS and it will help you plan your trip, plan where you're going to go and how you're going to get there. So it even, even down to giving you the opportunity to put in, so we have added in the height of the RV, the length of the RV, our total length, our weight, um, because in a lot of parts of the country, there are some bridges that are low bridges. Man, I can tell you some stories about that too. So there are some places that are low bridges that are listed on the navigation, but you won't find those in, on Google Maps. And so now with RV Trip Wizard, it has actually put that into its database so that it knows now the height of your RV and then the height of the bridge, and it'll tell you whether you're going to be able to get through that road or not. And then it will automatically detour you around some of those problems that you might run into otherwise. And so this would have been super handy for us when we were traveling, when we were driving in Virginia, and we came up, we came around a turn to a 10 foot tall bridge, and the RV is 13 and a half feet tall. In rush hour traffic, we're sitting there on a two lane road getting honked at it was not a, it was not a good experience for us so rv trip wizard would have really helped that out because it would have detoured around us that that concern and so it is a it is a full featured planner um it will also let you even put in the size of your fuel tank and then how, how what your your mileage is so it'll give you an idea then of how far you can drive before you want to start to look for a gas station isn't that cool too? So it'll help you plan out even those details of your route. Um, and then it also has a feature in there that it will allow you to do, um, <laughs> yeah, Amy says, warning, do not rely on Google Maps for RV travel. Trust me in this one. Yes, you can trust us on this one. That is for absolutely sure. And so with RV travel, Trip Wizard, it allows you then to even go into the details of the budgeting. So now that it knows how far you're going, and then you can plug in what the price of gas is, and it knows your gas mileage, and it knows how much the different the RV campsites are, and it knows how long you're staying at those things because you put all that in there. Now it, it plans out that route and gives you an estimated budget, what you should expect to spend while you're on that trip. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that just an incredible resource to have? And so what we're going to do is um, this is a, this is a fantastic resource, and we really highly recommend it for all of our traveling friends. Uh, and we're going to uh, – so we'll, we'll make sure that you know how to get signed up for that so that you can get registered and get a, get a good deal on it when you, when you do that. But uh, so traveling in an RV, it doesn't have to be – hard the planning process doesn't have to be difficult and it doesn't have to be overly expensive um, and and using some of these resources the boondockers welcome the harvest host the rv trip wizard using these resources you now have the ability to to budget in a way that is incredibly friendly with the resources of harvest host and boondockers welcome together you can now plan your trip and find sites along the way that are going to be free or low cost sites and are going to give you experiences um, that, are, that are going to be remarkable. And so highly encourage you to check out those and to check out RV Trip Wizard and to look at how it is that you can utilize these as resources. Now I have, um, I have an affiliate link for some of these things. 
doesn't cost you anything. It may save you a little bit. And I'm going to drop some of these links in here for you guys in a little while so that you can come back and check it out. We'll also have those in the notes that we come up with afterwards. So this blog is going to go live later this week. We're going to put it up on Friday is typically when we get our blogs up. And so you can go and you can check out our blog notes and we'll include all these resources in our affiliate links where you can go and you can save money. We'll get a very little bit of, of a kickback, but you're going to save money and you'll get a little bit of a better deal than you might have been able to get if you had just gone to the website to sign up. But highly encourage you to check these out. Now, thank you so much for sticking with me and being around. Um, I really appreciate it. Again, my name is Jim Miller. I help families transition into the RV of their dreams so that they can live their dream on the road, whether it's for 14 days or 14 months, um, using my signature maps method. And so if you have questions about that, about life on the road, then please uh, check out the explorettheunseen.com. Uh, follow us on our Facebook page and make sure that you're getting updates. Just click that bell so that you get updates when we go live each week, uh, every Tuesday at 11 o'clock. So thank you guys. I appreciate you all, and I hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.